Hello and welcome students, domain users and group on the Practice Labs platform. And here in this JSS project video, we are going to show you how to create domain user as well as how to create groups and few more skills that you really need while working on the user or dealing the queries of your users and group. So let's move to the Practice Lab environment. But before that, let's open the manual, the project document where we can easily show you the roadmap of all the tasks we, we are going to show you later on this video. Now here you can see in the doc document under the contents you have first topic is creating a domain user then how to add the user from the user account and how to add the user to a group from the group account and how to create a group then how to reset a password and unlock the user accounts so these are the main tasks we are going to cover throughout this video so let's move one by one to each task and explain in detail in complete depth and also show you the hands-on that how you can achieve that so let's move to the practice lab environment so as you all know how to access the practice lab environment and you know which lab we are going to use so once you launch the lab the machine we are going to use in this specific project is what the domain controller why because we need to show you what how to create user how to reset the password how to unlock the user and as you know the domain controller the controller have all the rights and all the power you know to achieve those things and to provide those services to the clients so let's start with the plab dc01 the domain controller machine we have in the practice lab environment so before that you know how to open the server manager let's click to the start and launch the server manager on the screen now here on the server manager the main menu and the main console we, we're going to need throughout dealing all the stuff is what the active directory users and computer section so we need to launch this console and it can open here as you can see that it shows the active directory on top and if you expand it so you're going to find the OUs, the containers and we we'll later in the coming projects we're going to talk about what are the OUs and how to create the OUs and what is the impact of OUs on the user and all any object within that OU so here let's click to the user and you will start seeing different user here in your active directory environment and all the users are the member of the active directory and domain controller is who who is providing services to all those users now here first things first so let's click to this icon and start creating the user so let's click to this and type here what the help desk so I'm going to provide the name help in the first section and help desk and here I'm going to use my logon name as a short form with a shortcut and this is going to be the help desk tech so HD tech and then click next and you can change you can type any of the password you want but here I'm gonna follow the practice labs password in the manual in the document you're gonna find the white one two three but here I'm gonna use the practice lab password and here you have some following options like if you leave the check on user must change the password at the next logon so what's gonna happen that when user log on first time on the machine so the, the, the machine required the domain controller required from the user to change the password on the next logon or if you remove the check from here so it's not gonna happen that's the password that you provide here at the, right this moment will go longer as you want because if you click to password never expire so the password will never expire until and unless if the policy triggers and if the policy and the restriction that you provide that you define in the policy so after creating the user you might get a call you might get a query that the this specific user wants to change their last name so in that case you can do simple steps you can right click on the user name and go to the properties and change the last name and let's say you want to change it like help tag just for example and you can keep the name here and let's say user you just apply from this this point and you didn't 
replicate the same changes on the account tab so what's gonna happen that this this account name and this detail will be applied on the bio the, the basic profile detail of the user but it will not be replicated here as you can see here it is not replicating here and also when the user tries to log on, on the same account the user will find the same naming the same settings that the, the that, that was already done for the user so for that you can remove from here you need to switch to the account tab and under the user logon name after the HD the help desk you can change it like HD or you can make it H text and it will replicate it throughout the login process but it's still you can see the help desk user name is not changed so there's another way to achieve that you can right click to rename and type edge desk and whatever you want so in that, in this way once you type that it will show you this option that how you're going to set the name and what's what would be will be the full name of that user so you can easily set that thing here and it will also show you further options like the logon name and last name so i prefer you to use this method because it will allows you to simply or to quickly change the username and it will show you different other settings like the last name and the display name because it, it it is going to be the same if you go to the properties again and again and change the tab and change the name so i prefer you this option you can right click and go to the rename and it will show you other previous details that you wanted to change and in the same way like if you get a request like uh, the a specific user wants to change their password or their account is locked out because it is also dependent on the policies because we have some policies in the active directory environment where if any invalid or like if you define any number like three invalid attempts has been done so what happens the account will be locked out and the Active Directory Administrator is required in that case to unlock the account. So if you heard, if you get some sort of ticket, some sort of query, and you wanted to do what you need, you wanted to unlock the account, so you can go to the right click to the properties and switch to the account tab, and you will find what you can simply check to this box, unlock the account, and it will replicate on the user account and the user account will be easily unlocked from the invalid attempt because of that those invalid attempts account is locked out why because it is it is defined into the password policy so when you click on that unlock account it will just refresh all the attempts now here you can see under the type column you have the user thing written against the edge text the new user and you you can find any admin detail like here you can see the administrator contain what the built-in account for administrating the computer and domain so you hardly find those details because this user is a simple user and it's not a part of any group so how and what steps you need to take to add this user into the admin group so for that you need to click to the member of and here you can see it's a domain user and we need to add this user to the domain admin so you can click here and simply type domain admin and click to check names and there you go it corrected for you and now here you can see this user is member of what domain users and the domain admin and once you verify that click to apply and OK and you will find this user will behave like the administrator of the active directory of the domain because you added that user into the domain admin group and in the same way you can add different user to the domain group by simply going to that specific group go to the properties and here you can see you can click to the members tab because it is a member of what the administrator but here you can simply add the member and you can find the HTS is a member of what the domain admin group so if you wanted to add a specific user the domain group the domain admin group so you can simply click add 
under the members tab and you can type any of the user that you wanted to part of the domain admin group and you will find the entry here or you can use the way that I showed previously by just right, right click on that specific user and go to the property and select what the member of and add the domain admin group from here. So after that, let me show you how you can create groups because here you, you heard a lot of talks about the admin group. So how we can create a group into the Active Directory environment. So simply you can right click here on this icon and it will require the group name for you. So let me type the test group and the group scope could, would be the global and the group type is would be security. So it's good and it's standard for you. And here you can see the group is created. But if you want to add members to that group, so you can simply follow the same process, the same steps that we showed earlier, that you can switch to the members tab and add one by one the user here in this group and also you can make this group the part of the domain admin so it's going to be like let's say if you have some users in the marketing you want them to be the administrator of the active directory or they want some rights to install some software and they they, they need rights simply so you can create the marketing administrators and you can add that group to where to the domain admins and then you can add the guys in that the IT professionals or some other employees in that specific group so they all will have the same domain admin permissions and also you can go to each specific user and you can follow the same steps that I show you earlier while we are working on edge test user that how you can make the specific user a member of any group so these are the steps where you need to take you need to perform while making any specific user a part of any group now let's say you get a call you get got some query that i need to reset my password or i forgot my password and i tried three or four times and my account also logged out so kindly change my password reset my password and also unlock my account so once you have this sort of query, you need to simply come to this Active Directory user and computer and you know how to open that console. And once you make it here, then right click to that specific user and you can simply click to reset password. Well, when you see this dialog box, so you need to just type the new password that you wanted to change or just a general password you wanted to set for the user because when you are changing the password the password is exposed to to whom to the system administrator so for that thing you need to check to this box so user must change the password at the next logon so what will happen that when the user use the same password or you send this password in the email to that user that I change your password and this is going to be your new password and after the first logon you need to change your password and you can set any password you want and if you have the same if you have another query of the same user that my account is logged out so you can click to unlock the account and then click ok to proceed so then you will get this message that the password for the help this account has been changed and what gonna happen that when user will log on to this use this specific account what will happen that after the first logon the user have to change the password and then user will set any password the user think of or user decide and in this way the security is kept and that's it for this video